Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So this is somewhat advanced concept which I want to explain you before going into the async await functionality. Now, what is this concept? Is the event loop concept. So you know everyone know about the event loop concept, right? So event loop in the JavaScript. So this event loop is the one of the important functionality in the javascript not functionality it's a main core engine in the javascript so we know that javascript i will try to explain you very brief for you why because there are so many videos and all those things available in the youtube and also you can find so many articles regarding this event loop first i will try to explain you something different which cannot which you cannot able to find so in the real time so how the event loop and all those things executes execution goes on i will try to explain you in the real time so i will try to show you the practical way you know that javascript is an asynchronous sorry it's a synchronous synchronous so pretty much what we what i can say is is a synchronous is a synchronous so that means it will execute one by one one by one line so it will execute the line by one line it will try to execute so that's one thing so now pretty much the browser okay the pretty much the browser the lines and all those things execute in the main thread so you can also call it as an UI thread or anything. So it will execute in the main thread. So main thread means, for example, main thread means it's nothing but a process, main process. So it will execute in a main process. So now in order to make this one asynchronous, so what the JavaScript, the event loop will try to do is, so the code will be executed in the main thread, okay, the main thread, and there will be separate threads. Okay, there will be separate sets. So what I, what I can say is these are something like a side threads. Side threads will execute. Side threads will execute like uh, set timeout promise and all those things. Side thread will execute. And this side thread after completion of this execution, after completion, it will go, it will go and merge in the main thread. So that means ultimately everything should come under the main thread only. So who will take care of the side thread going into the main thread and all those things are nothing but the event loop. Okay. So this is the main scenario. So here you will be having, if I try to tell you uh, in the paint, I will explain you in the paint. So here you are having, right? A code execution will be in the main thread. So this is the main thread. So main thread, so all the code execution will be taken care. So it's nothing but the code execution, DOM rendering, everything will go here in the main thread so if the main thread is busy in executing means so it's a blocking okay it's a blocking so the main ui will be blocking main thread if the main thread is going on executing means it's a blocking thing now if you have some set timeout promise these all the things are available right so these things will be executed in a side thread so you can say it as a side thread so here it will be executed so here these all the things will be executed so like this in the side thread these all the things will be executed now when this process execution is completed now it needs to merge in the main thread and it needs to pass the data to the main thread so here the, whatever the data it has been processed it needs to pass the data into the main thread then only it will happen okay so this passing this side thread into the main thread so this sending this side thread into the main thread is done by the event loop so for example let's say that here there will be some problem let's say that main thread so this main thread let's say that this main thread where is our yeah here this main thread so if you try to go here this main thread is busy in executing one function or otherwise let's say that it is looping it is busy in executing the looping some for loop immediately one side thread one set timeout is completed so now this looping is in the middle okay this looping is in the middle so now if this looping is in the middle so immediately set timeout set timeout is completed so now the main thread okay when this looping in the middle it will not execute that side thread which has been completed immediately okay it will not complete so it will wait until this main main, main looping is completed then only it will make sure that main thread doesn't have anything and then only the side thread will go into the main thread okay so this is one thing so who will take care of this one all is the event loop event loop means its name itself indicates event loop loop means it will going on checking in the main thread that whether the main thread is busy in executing or not if it is not busy in executing means then whatever the things that are available it will be sent to the main thread okay 
now here <clears throat> how it will consider so, so for example let's say that i have i'm having something like side thread one side thread two and side thread three okay so these are the two side threads which are executing now main thread is busy in executing some main code okay main thread so now here in between this one event loop is there event loop is there now main thread has main main thread is free so now main thread is free so now which one it will take care so which one will be going so for example let's say that this is more priority important so how can event loop be considering that which side thread will be taken more important and it will be and it will be sent as the first first uh, first queue how it will send it so how it will determine so here you will be in the side threads there will be two categories so in the side thread will be uh, ta so these all side threads are kept in a task queue so what i can say is these all side threads are kept in a task queue so this is called as a task queue and these are all kept in a task queue task queue okay task queue so these all tasks are written task queue now we need to have some priority we need to give some importance to the side thread so now when the event a main thread is uh, free so we need to send side thread three why because this has some uh, most important thing so now how the event loop will give priority this one is again this task queue is divided into two categories one is a mac macro task okay macro task and another one is a micro task okay micro task so the tasks which are having more important will come under this micro task okay will come under this micro task the tasks which doesn't have the sub so for example event loop when the main thread is free it will check in the micro task first whether any tasks are left behind or not so if the tasks are left behind then if the tasks are there in the micro task first micro tasks are taken up and it will be executed then afterwards macro tasks are taken up and it will be executed set time out these all things comes under the macro task promises these things comes under the micro task I will try to explain you this one with a practical example. So this is how actually the process will be happening. So this is the total thing. So event loop you will be having, okay? And you will be having the main thread and you will be having a side threads. And these side threads are kept in a task queue. And these side threads again, the task queue is divided into two wide categ two categories. That is macro task and a micro task. Micro task is given that most importance and macro task is given the next priority. So this is the overall in a nutshell it will happen in the javascript so i will try to explain you the practical example then only you will be able to understand very easily so for example let's say that so we want to execute this one right so let's say that i am having a console.log synchronous one okay synchronous one so this is the first line it will execute this first line and here i will be having console.log synchronous two okay so this is the second one so now these are the two lines of code is there so now how it will execute which one will execute first so we know that the first one synchronous one will execute first and the second one synchronous two will execute second okay so let's go and run the debug so let's see so now if you try to see the output so let's go here in the debug console see the synchronous one is executed and afterwards synchronous two is executed fine so everything is going on well now if i what i want to do is i want to try to write the set time out okay set time out and here i will try to do console.log console.log side thread one or otherwise set time out so time out so this needs to be executed immediately so zero seconds now which one will execute so the console will go to synchronous one it will execute and it will see the set time out okay i should not uh, execute this one so this one moved to the side thread and synchronous to immediately will be executed and after completion of the main thread the side thread will come and it will execute the set timeout so if you try to see the output so the same thing happens here synchronous one has executed synchronous two is executed and the timeout is executed so this one is also well and fine now what i will try to do here now i will try to write the promise so which one will execute you'll see so now i will write the promise here so we are having a promise and it is resolved and i will be executing dot then we there is i am using data but there is no data here and here i will be using console.log promise okay so now which one will be executed here so here we are having a console.log synchronous one will execute and here this is a set timeout this is sent into the side thread and promise is there and this one is also sent into the side thread 
and synchronous two will be executed. So synchronous one, synchronous two. And next, what you will try to see, so which one will execute this one? So both are both are finishing at the same time, right? So which one will execute? So now here you will be able to understand. So now if I try to run this one, see the first synchronous one is executed, then afterwards synchronous two is executed, then afterwards promise is executed, the last timeout is executed. So that means promise is being sent into the micro task, which we have discussed it. So first the micro task, the tasks which are present in the micro task queue needs to be executed. Then afterwards the macro task will be executed. So this is how the event loop execution will be taken. So this is how the micro tasks and mac macro tasks plays a, very, plays a role in the JavaScript execution. Now hope you understood about this one. So how the promise and set time out if there means how it will be executed. Hope you understood about this one. This is all about the event loop, micro task, task queue. So I am trying to explain you in an overview or something like an uh, briefly. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.